Oh yeah, that's nice. All right, let's get the whole bait cover in it now. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Custom Bait Painting by a New. Uh, we're back out here at my workbench today, and we're going to be doing some more crankbait painting. I'm going to be painting not one, not two, but three crankbaits. Got a big square bill, big wide body square bill, a regular 1.5 square bill, and a wiggle wart that goes down about 8 to 10 feet. I'm not painting these baits for myself though. I'm actually painting these baits for this guy right here. Hey. There we go. <laughs> is it? Yeah, is it a bass? Yeah. It is. Oh my god, dude. Please tell me you got a net. Now it's a game of what color are they like? Timmy's on. God, Timmy's whooping our butt, dude. Know, dude. Yeah, some of you guys might know him. That's Tim Kidwell from Tim Kidwell Outdoors. He uh, got stationed over in California. Just a little backstory. We used to fish together here in bass tournaments here in Florida. But he's at the duty Navy and it, his time was up here and he had to go move out to California. So he's out there catching California bass. So, and also, they just found out they're having their very first baby. So this is kind of like a baby shower gift for Tim getting these three crankbaits over there. But today I'm only going to show you guys just me painting one of these crankbaits, which is going to be the 1.5. We're going to do a chartreuse and black paint job on this one. If you want to see what the other, how the other baits turn out, that's very easy for you guys to do. They're not going to be in this video, but you can head over to my Densmore Outdoors Facebook page and go ahead and check that out. Guys, I got 6,000 subscribers, which is mind blowing, but we only have a couple hundred people over there on the Facebook page and you're missing out on so much. There's so many times where I post pictures of fish and lures and stupid crap I do over there on the Facebook page. Go ahead and hit over there, follow the link. It's down in the description below. It makes it even easier. And you guys can check out and see how these lures turn out. Also, we got Dismore Outdoors on Instagram too for you guys that are on the gram. You wanna check that out. Oh, and uh, one more thing while I got you here, there's a Bait Shop Talk group on Facebook. So you can talk to me and Bubba and all the Bait Shop boys, and there's just a whole bunch of people over there. It's, it's crazy. Just go to Facebook, go in the search bar, and type in Bait Shop Talk, and you'll see it right there. So that's enough to talk. I'm going to get the workbench set up for my painting, get my air compressor and all that stuff out of here. And I'm not really going to go into detail how I'm painting these baits. Uh, if you guys want a video on that or you want me to go into detail on the equipment that I'm using, please let me know down in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to do a video about that for y'all. So anyway, get out of here. We're going to go through and get all this changed over for bait painting. All right, let's come back and we'll be more actually painting. All right, so we got our bait in the holder. I wiped it off with alcohol. Got the bill masked off. Got all my airbrush stuff set up. We're at 30 PSI for those wanting to know. Got my airbrush cleaner, reducer, water to clean out my gun, and most importantly, our paints. We got Kratex Opaque White, Wicked Black, Kratex Fluorescent. What is it? Come on now. Yeah, just fluorescent green, Kratex Fluorescent Yellow, and which color? Pearl Orange. So those are our colors we're going to use for this particular crankbait. It's going to be kind of like a fire tiger color or a chartreuse in black. But first things first, we got to put down a base coat. So for that, we're going to be using our opaque white. I'm going to reduce this because it's a little thick. Make sure it's mixed up real good. And we'll get to paint. Nice. And away we go.
should do it. I'm gonna come back and actually put a dark back. And go all right gonna heat set this real quick and go to the next part all right so next we're gonna put this little stencil on it i'm gonna add some stripes to it what's cool about this one is uh post from the wiggle wart one it's magnetized these little clips have magnets in it <laughs> and this fits a lot better There we go. I'm gonna put a little clip on the bottom so I got something to hold on to. Yeah, we'll just be secure about it. How about it? Magnets are cool and all, but clips are pretty good insurance. All right, so I'm gonna put black stripes on it. We're almost there. Hey guys, one last color left. It's gonna be this pearl orange. And all I'm gonna do is just put it right there, like on the throat. I'm not gonna run it down the whole belly. I'm just gonna put it right there. So like two drops how to do it. Oh. is now we're going to put on the eyes super glue those on take the tape off and give this thing a dunk in some clear coat and then once it's dry from the clear coat we can put hooks on it get them all done and ship them off to Timmy let's go ahead and move on to the next steps okay now we've come to the tricky part of this putting the eyes on Got a little bit of super glue, just gel. I guess so it don't run as bad. And I 
Got my little card of eyes. I'm debating in between red eyes or orange. I think I'm going to orange since I got the orange throat on it and this is like a fire tiger skin. So let's see how this disaster goes. Insurance, we'll put a little bit of glue on here. Let me try it on here first. Let's get it started. Oh man, I don't, know. I don't like this gel already. couple seconds. There we go. It's mean looking crankbait. Now I'll do the other side. Pretty sure you guys know how that's done. Just like the front one. Alright. Time to dip our bait in our clear coat. This is KBS Diamond Clear Coat. If you guys are new to this series. I mean, air is not your friend. That's why I make sure I keep this sealed. And plus, if any gets on the actual lid here, it's a pain in the butt to get off. And something I learned with this, there's a film that sits on top. We haven't used this in a while from the air that was in there. You need to stir it before you dip your bait. Stir real easy and just break that film up. That way it doesn't make your bait look all nasty. So I'm just using a couple of stir sticks. Hurry up, trip that off. Throw it away and dunk our bait, but slowly. Pull it out. Nice and slow. So we don't like air bubbles on our bait. And it looks like stirring it helped. I'm going to give it a couple drips. And what I love about these versus a wiggle wart is I can put this drip wire on here and leave it. I don't have to check it like a wiggle wart. And there's our bait with clear coat on it. And you can see that wire is already doing its job. Drip. Okay, we're going to take it over here to our drying box. That bait looks so much better with that clear coat on there. Put it on our hook. I can't show you guys the other baits. You're going to have to go over to Tim's channel, which I'm going to leave a link to so y'all can check that out. Oops. Forgot to plug this part in. You guys want to see how I made this drawing box? If you wait till the end of the video, there'll be a little screen that'll pop up. It's pretty cool. Car air filter, a little fan to pull air through. That way there's no dust or anything getting on my bait while it dries. All right, I'm gonna give that two coats. I'm gonna let this dry overnight, and I'm gonna come back tomorrow night, give it another coat, and then wait like a week to for it to really fully cure before I put hooks and swivels and stuff on it. So with the magic of editing in video, we'll go ahead and get to that. See, and just like that, the bait's all done. Got some nice triple grip hooks on it. Oval split ring, so you don't have to worry about getting your knot where the pieces meet and getting it slipped underneath there. I have to say that came out 
very good all clear coated up nice and beautiful so we're going to pack this bad boy up and send it to tim we also have two other baits i made for him two mystery baits that's probably him texting me right now tim why are you messaging me turn that on silent sorry about that interruption but we have two mystery baits that are going to be putting in the box for tim if you guys want to check that out you're going to, have to go over like i said to tim's channel when he does the unboxing video and when he goes fishing with these they're pretty cool i gotta say so we're going to package this thing up and send it off there that's better now i can send this off to tim the right way your tackle experience it's even better Ta-da! Deck on it! Just fix that real quick. There we go. That's it. The baits are on their way out to California for Tim. Like I've been saying throughout this whole video, if you want to see what the other baits are and what Tim does with them, and hopefully he catches something on them, just stick around a little bit longer to the end of the video, or you can go ahead and go down to the description below and click on the link for Tim's channel to that video of him unboxing them. Or like I said at the end, there'll be a little screen somewhere around here that'll pop up that you can click on go see uh, Tim's video of those baits and his reaction to them, which I'm hoping that he really likes them. I mean, I think they came out pretty good. So be sure to go support him, check him out. I mean, he's doing good well in California. Tim, if you watch this video, man, I miss you, dude. I can't wait for you to come back out to the East Coast and let's go bass fishing again. But our time has run out. I don't want this video as long enough as it is. Guys, be sure to check out Dismore Outdoors at Instagram. I put it up at the end of every video. Head on over there and become a follower so you can see all the little behind the scenes pictures and little short videos and crap and stupid stuff that I do projects that I work on and so on, just like the Facebook page, you can check that out too. So ladies, I'm Joe, you can watch Dismore Outdoors, and remember, we do more in Dismore, don't take care.